Hey there everyone, welcome back to another video. Go Bok here, and for this one I'll be doing a pet spotlight on the Armored Vault Bot. Uh, one of the first pets, probably the first pet that I have uh, that I bought first off of the auction house when I came back to uh, recording. So uh, I was definitely going to hate myself if I did not get that freaking pet. So and here we are, it's a pretty good pet actually. Um, I know I may be a little late as to, you know, highlighting how great it is, but better late than never. Uh, let's see here. So I think first things first. Hmm. Let's start out with Detective Ray first, because I feel like he's going to bring in the Tender Pup. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this Tender Pup probably has Magma Trap and Magma Wave, if I'm not mistaken. So let's just go for a flame jet. Yep, there goes the trap, as expected. Alright, cool. I got that off, as well as the dot. If I were to have this go off on somebody... Hmm... I think I'd rather it be my eventual porcupine, actually. Right? Because, I mean... Yeah, it'd be great against these two pets, but that rotten little helper is a big concern for me right now. So I'll happily just eat that on my eventual porcupine. Hopefully he doesn't go into the rotten little helper right now because that would really suck. That does over a thousand damage. That does over a thousand damage to, well, to my eventual porcupine anyway. And there he goes. Luckily it did not kill me, so he's going to have to hit me one more time. So I think I'd rather just go for his spirit spikes, get some pretty good damage on him. Oh well. I mean, if he decides to hit me, uh, he's still going to take damage or whatever. If he swaps out, then uh, then he's going to be taking damage. Too. Ooh, nice. I'm one point faster than that dumb <laughs> tender pup. What speed is this? Oh, that's the SS breed. One more Powerball, I believe, brings me to 353, if I'm not mistaken. Why are you swapping? <laughs> that makes no sense. Why are you mindlessly swapping? That's just free damage for me. Oh, I would have loved a triple. Why would you take an Ice Lance with no way to uh, get the second hit, you big, silly, willy? Alright, well, I'm just going to go and Detective Ray from here, pretty much. Uh, hopefully going to be able to kill this rotten little helper before he gets down another uh, Grinch's Gift or Booby Trap Presence. Because that would suck. And I am running Jab in this scenario, that way I can take care of dragons. Uh mostly uh, the Twilight Clutch sister and yeah so I'm not running Skull Toss as I usually do and I got Curse of Doom here for uh, those pesky uh, pesky humanoids there we go couldn't get the word so there goes the Tinder Pup down all we have left is Tricorn hopefully he'll go ahead and use his sniff out and activate that trap that would make me very happy oh yes he totally did nice 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 well, he basically lost. There is absolutely no way he is going to 1v1 my freaking armored pop but I mean, there's just, there's just just no way. I mean, yeah, he has come back, so he's going to get that extra damage, but can any of you really think of a way that he's going to 1v1 my fault bot? I can't. I absolutely can't. Look at all that damage right there. Let's go for a make it rain and basically just spam uh, coin tosses at this point. Yeah, there's no way he's going to do enough damage, especially with the SS breed. And yeah, he runs away because he just can't do anything with that high health. If he had his uh, Tinder Pup, then yeah, he could somewhat. And then uh, a little bit with the Rotten Little Helper, but not much. Alright, so let's move on to this next team that I have called Hump Day. Uh, rightfully so, obviously there's a camel. Uh, my beautiful pygmy camel, I might add. Oh, I didn't even go over the uh, the first team. Well, hopefully I'll be able to after this battle, and then I'll go over the second team. Kind of my uh, thought process behind it. <clears throat> and I actually have four teams this time around, where usually I uh, somewhat have three when it comes to spotlight videos like this. Oh, it's another uh, Tricorn team, except I think it's a different guy, because this is an SS breed. 
All critters. Okay. Well, I mean, I technically could start out with anybody. Uh, let's start out with the camel. I mean, I'm not going to be going for food coma anytime soon, obviously, because I would be very stupid. And probably would get roasted in the comments. Oh no, he went for a burrow. Well, I might still get roasted. <laughs> for, uh, for that freaking headbutt right there. Oh well. I didn't think he would go for burrow right off the bat. I'm not sure what the other ability for Perky Pug is, but... Yeah, I didn't think he'd do that right off the rip. Okay, he went for a heal. Even while he was full health. I mean, technically he does get a heal from it, just a little bit, because it does increase his team's health by 5. So I guess it technically wasn't all wasted, but, well, a majority of it was wasted. Alright, let's just go heal up right there. Uh, let's see, I guess I'll go back into my camel so I can go for a headbutt. And this time, he will not be dodging it. Alright, let's just go for a juicy 630 headbutt. If I had my racial, it would be even more damage. But, oh, I mean, okay, okay, never mind. I'll take that crit. Who, who said anything about a, uh, a beast racial? It wasn't me. It sure wasn't me. I'll take that, uh, that crit any day of the week. Oh, man. Alright, Camel, you have your racial active. You just hit over 400. Very good job. Dang, that crit, though. Oh, I'm actually faster than the Tricorn. All right. Got to remember, go walk. Do not go for food coma. Whatever you do, do not go for food coma. Oh, man. All right. So, should I... Huh, can I kill him before he kills me? That way I can hit that perky pug. Nah, I'll kill him now. Just to play it safe. And I don't really want my camel to die, to be honest, because my camel has done so much work here. So I'm going to go ahead and swap him out into Armored Vault Bot. Alright, now I'm going to wait until he does his, uh, his burrow. There it goes. Then I can go for my Money Meteor. I'm not going to miss that, obviously. Now that I know you have burrow. Alright, and at this point, just gonna go for make it rain, and then probably a couple of coin tosses. Ooh, that healed for a lot. Holy crap. Well, I mean, Perky Pug does have pretty high attack power, so that was kind of to be expected. But I should be able to take him down before he can go for another heal. Well, he is hitting for a crap ton. Holy crap. So hopefully this coin toss, along with this dot, will be able to kill him. No! How low did you have to hit right there, man? Um, let's just go for another coin toss. And boop. Oh, that sucked. That really sucked. Let's go for make it rain. Alright, nice. I will be able to take him out right here. And I will not lose a single pet. So that's pretty cool. Because I activate my mechanical racial right here. And look at that. Over 400 health on the armored vault bot. That is pretty in Shane right there. GG. That was pretty uh pretty great game. Not too often that you see the pygmy camel doing quite a bit of work. So I think we'll just yeah, we'll just keep going down the line. So anyway, uh back to the first team. So this team is basically uh coverage for each other. The one big downside I would say would be against Humanoids, even though uh, obviously I do have Curse of Doom, but I really need that jab right there in order to deal with uh, Dragonkin, as I've already stated. Uh, Flame Jet, it's really good. I mean, I could technically take Kick as well because Detective Ray, I'm pretty sure, is faster than most Dragonkins that you see in the Meta anyway, specifically the Twilight Clutch Sister. And then the Armored Vault Bot's just pretty great on his own. Psy Health does an insane amount of damage with his AoE, kind of similar to Twilight Clutch Sister. Especially since he only has, what, 203 attack power and he can deal over 200 damage to all three pets alive. That's pretty darn great right there. Not to mention he has a decoy breaker in the form of Make It Rain, 
which is pretty great. I would never really suggest taking Clobber. And uh, Coin Toss is probably better than Metal Fist because it has a chance to hit a lot harder. That's pretty great. Ooh, a Scale Brood Hydra. I do not have that pet, I don't think. Wait, do I? Well, I'm not sure. I'll check in a second, but uh, I'm pretty sure I don't have that pet. I think that's from uh, Nashachar or something like that. I just realized he... Oh, I was about to say it had, had an all-aquatic team, but I saw the autumnal Sproutling back there. At least it's the SS breed. The uh, power power is definitely a concern. Oh, there goes a geyser right there. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good at all. I think I want to take that on my uh, my camel, if I can. Probably would be best. Oh, he's got Whirlpool and Geyser. I forgot that this pet is basically a, uh, a old school Pandaren water spirit. Yikes, I forgot all about that. Wait, what is he about to do? He's probably going to swap me out, to be honest. Brings in the lowest health pet. Lowest health pet is Pygmy Camel. Or maybe he's going to go for a super sticky goo. Yeah, he probably is going to do that. So I'm going to bank on that. I'm going to my Pygmy Camel now because I'd rather it take it on this. Oh, he went for a Tongue Lash. I was scared that he went for a Quagwa's Wrath. So that would have sucked a lot. Let's just pass right here. I can't really do anything anyway, so. No bother doing anything right there. Well, we went for a swap. Oh, well that was definitely not the play to do because thanks to him rooting me right there, um, I was able to get off the headbutt. He totally should have gone for a tongue lash right there. Well, I hate to do the early GG's, but I think he just won me the game right there. Oh man, he is letting the camel live. Holy crap. The camel is still alive, ladies and gentlemen. The camel, I repeat, is still alive with 80 health. Finally, the camel died. <laughs> what is wrong with this man? Oh my goodness. What is this battle? I'm going to go for a money meteor. I'm going to kill off both of your pets in this one turn. Oh my goodness. That camel got like, let me think, three, maybe four extra hits when I shouldn't have? That was insane. That was insane. Oh, what were you thinking? Alright, armor vault bot goes down. I'm pretty sure I could take down this uh, tunnel sprawling from here with my uh, basically full health spirit crab so I mean yeah you can go for that all you want main thing I'm concerned about is you going for son to the root so until he does that or shows me that he has fist of forest I'm just gonna keep spamming surge yep there it is alright so first things first uh, I'm just gonna go for a surge right here and then I'll go for amplify magic because that way he'll pop up out of his little burrow and also giving me something to do while he's under there. I think I still would have won this despite him misplaying quite a bit. I mean you saw right there that was absolutely hilarious. I can't believe he freaking did that. Yeah I would run away too if I were you. I would definitely run away as well. Oh man that was too funny. Too freaking funny. Oh, man. What was that guy thinking? Uh, and I did get a pretty great 25% uh, stun with that headbutt, which was pretty nice. So good job, Pygmy Camel. Absolutely uh, stomping all over that guy. All over his hopes and dreams. But man, that was so funny. Oh, God. That was too great. And then, yeah, and then back to this first human eventual pork pets just there to uh, take care of undeads. Holy crap. Well, it's this guy. Why is he using Legionnaire uh, Murky instead of the other pet? Are their stats different? Uh, I'm not sure if their stats are different. Huh. 
Okay, well, I have a pretty great chance of winning this then. Yeah, especially if I'm able to get them with this, uh, with this swap thing right here. Nope, I was not. Clearly, he knows what I was going to do. Well, let's just go for a make it rain then. Oh, nope, he just went for a swap. Okay, let's just go for a bone barrage in case if he decides to stay in. I have two ways of destroying that, uh, uh, that dumb shield storm. Unfortunately, only one of those hit. Let's go for a call of darkness. And the boom. Okay, let's go for another bone barrage right here. Because at any point that he decides to go for his heal, this idiot is just mindlessly swapping. Oh, that's hilarious. All right. Now we're just going to go into my Alpine Foxling. He can f go for that shitey heal all he wants to. It got absolutely reduced by my freaking Gall Darkness, which is absolutely hilarious. Oh, how cute. He went for that. How cute indeed. Let's go for a Dazzling Dance right here. Now my Bone Serpent is faster. Armored Vault Bot is only faster than the Frostwolf Ghost Pup now. Ooh, unfortunately that dot missed. That would have been some pretty decent dot damage right there. What is with all your dumb swaps, my dude? Holy crap. Well, I'm going to go into Bone Serpent now. All right, let's go for a Bone Barrage. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Trip, um, double crit in all three hit. Take every bit of that. Oh, God, I hope you suffer. <laughs> oh, that was so funny. That was so freaking funny, man. Oh, I wish the absolute worst for this guy. I hate facing him so much. Oh, God, it is so great to just stomp all over this guy. Gonna go back into Bone Serpent just so I can waste that last turn of his damage increase. At this point, he's pretty screwed. You went to Frostwolf Ghost Pup? Oh, how dumb are you, my dude? How dumb are you? <laughs> all right, at this point, I'm just gonna go for my flurries. I gotta do as much damage to this Ghost Pup as I can. As he goes for a crappy heal, let's go for another flurry. He goes back into the fiendish imp. I don't know why, but whatever. Um, yeah, let's go for dazzling dance. Let's play it on the safe side here. I'll be act activating my racial pretty soon, dude. If it gets down to armored vault bot versus fiendish imp, you already know how that is going to go so my dude try it if you will you will not succeed oh man alrighty so um I think I want to go for money meteor actually because he might swap out right here try to heal him up nope he did not nice and his burn hit on the low end as well and do some good damage right there and I'm faster, so uh, as long as... Oh, oh, look at that little coward run away, ladies and gentlemen. Get absolutely stomped on, destroyed, whatever you want to call it. Your hopes and dreams just absolutely evaporate right there. Get stomped on. Man, I do not like facing that guy at all. And uh, being able to record him getting destroyed like that is absolutely amazing. So I will take that any day. <laughs> any freaking day of the week man that was great that triple bone barrage hit and double crit absolutely perfect that right there is basically what sealed the win so uh, I will not complain about that whatsoever he deserves every bit of that <clears throat> Oh, oh, wow, look at who it is again. I figured he was going to queue up again. All right, so let's go for Bone Serpent. I'm assuming he's just going to go for Immolation again. 
Well, I'm hoping he does, because if he goes for freaking Nethergate predicting me, that's going to suck. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Man, you are something else, aren't you? I can't believe he actually pulled that off that time. Bull crap he did. Oh, this guy. This poor guy right here. Alright, let's just go for Bone Barrage right here. Oh, there goes your cute little immolation right there. Let's go for Call of Darkness. <clears throat> I'm just going to absolutely unload on your pets with my uh, Bone Serpent. And it's going to be great. He might try and kill me right here, to be honest. Huh. I think I just want to play it safe and go to my Alpine Foxling. Oh, he totally did. He tried to kill me. Nope, not going to let you. Haha. <laughs> Let's go for a flurry right here. Goes into Legionnaire Murky. Not sure why. It's kind of a weird swap, to be honest. Let's go for a Dazzling Dance. I want to get that up right now. Okay, there we go. Oh man, this is such a horrible, horrible freaking team that he's playing. I cannot express how much I absolutely hate this guy as well as going against him. So, do not feel bad winning this whatsoever. Boom, boom, boom. There goes that dumb thing. Thankfully, Flurry and my Barrages take it down immediately, so I got that going for me. What a terrible swap right there. An absolute terrible swap, indeed. Why didn't you get the triple hit right there? Oh, God. Freaking idiot, Alpine Foxling. Oh, man. Oh, well, there's no way I'm going to survive that scratch right there. Alrighty. So now... I think I just want to go into Bone Serpent, to be honest. Go for a lift off because I don't want to take that damage. I know it's only just going to get blocked by one of those. Uh, I don't really care, to be honest, a whole lot. As long as he doesn't, like, crit me or something with a burn. I should hopefully be fine. Goes for another gate. Huh. Okay then. Uh, let's just go for a make it rain then. Whew, this is really coming down to the wire right here, boys. If he swaps out, I think I have to immediately bring in my bone serpent. So that way I can get off an attack. Here we go. And that's less damage that my bald bot's going to be taken from that immolation as well. Oh, we went for that first. Huh. Interesting. Okay, I think I want Bone Barrage down more than anything. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. He might go for a uh, Shield Storm. Oh, no, he didn't. Okay. We kind of wasted that Whirlwind. Thankfully, he uh, didn't wait for that to die first. I think right here, I just want to go for a make it rain. And hope that all of this kills him. And yes, it did. Thankfully, he did not get a little shield up right there. Okay, so I have all these dots going. As long as he doesn't like crit me a whole bunch or something, I should hopefully win this. Um, I think I want to go for a make it rain right here. <laughs> he went for a friggin' nether gate. It's kind of hilarious. Ooh. Oh wow. I think he just won. He just barely freaking won. Ugh, I don't know what to say about that. That should have been a win, I think. 
He played absolutely horribly, and he still pulled that out of his rectum. Wow. Freaking wow. I don't even know what to say to that, to be honest. Well, um, hmm. Let's see. Yeah, that was one loss, and I got four wins. And, uh, yeah, there's pretty much no point in queuing up, I don't think, because I'm just going to be going against that douchebag over and over again. So, unfortunately, I think I will end it there on a loss. That should have been a win. Um, but it's whatever. What can I say? So, since I wasn't able to, I think I'll freaking just go over my team my teams right here so i pretty much went over this one they are basically all there to cover for each other uh this team uh mainly there for paradox spirit with the temple anomaly helps out the camel with the food coma and also uh hopefully letting it go first with headbutt with that 25 percent chance to stun and then obviously it somewhat helps out the armored vault butt although you're not going to be outspeeding a whole lot of things uh with that uh 223 speed Oh, he has more attack power than I thought. Not 203, but 223. Huh. Interesting. Oh, and then this team is kind of a gimmick. They're just all three uh, really high health pets. So, uh, with some synergy, I might add, with uh, Spirit Crab's little rot right here, along with the hoof coming from the camel. So, not too bad. Just a bit of a funny gimmick team with all three health, high health pets. And then, obviously, t this team is probably the better of the three. Has three tier one pets on it. Uh, Bone Serpent's just pretty great. Alpine Foxling, no explanation there. And then Armored Vault just great overall, mainly because of that high health, Decoy Breaker, and Money Meteor. So, pretty great pet. As far as getting it, all it says is it's in Mechagon. So, I really don't know all the details of as far as getting it goes for that. However, you could just alternatively buy it off the auction house. Nowadays, it is quite cheaper than it used to be, so it probably will be your best bet. But uh, yeah, pretty fun pet. It's a pretty great pet as well. Its model is basically a rascal bot with like a big little uh, safe on top of him, I think. Yeah, he's kind of got like the same body as a rascal bot, so pretty cool. Definitely a tier one pet, I would say. So yeah, I think that will end that there. Really hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you all for stopping by and watching. This is Kovac and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye for now.